Alright man, well we're here back at uh, Pure Nutrition, chopping it up with Dylan, Dylan, excuse me, uh, Devin and myself. Uh, there might be some other people coming through tonight, uh, we'll see. Right, well we had to start a little bit late, we're waiting on some people, but they here now. <laughs> yeah, tonight um, I was talking with Dylan, chopping up with him a little earlier, and uh, he had a real, real good topic tonight, and it was, uh, what'd you call it? Fan or fan or foe? Fan or foe. Fan, you mind explaining kind of a little bit what that was about? Uh, basically, I was talking to him about uh, people going to church and just going through the motions. You know what I mean? I I don't see any point in going to church if you're just gonna be fake about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was telling him, you know, you see people in church that were at the party doing drugs just two days ago, and then you see them in church down on their knees. Praising God because you know I, mean, I guess they feel like you know oh I can do this but He's gonna forgive me so it's all right you know what yeah, I mean yeah, I, I, I don't I don't see any point in doing that if you're gonna be fake about it like that then don't even go you know what I mean that it, that uh that just really blows my mind about people you know uh -huh. I you you know God don't like that you know what I mean I mean yeah. so I mean there's just uh there's no point in doing that so I just I kind of wanted to just talk uh, about that okay. people being fake all right all right most definitely man and uh, I mean. Fakeness, fakeness in the church. That's a, that's a big thing. That goes that goes beyond even you know hypocrisy. That can that can also be you know preachers behind the pulpit trying to perform. That could be you know I see I've been to church. I don't know if you've been to churches before. I've been to churches where you know it looks like you know the Holy Ghost fell, but I know I've I've even had preachers tell me go ahead and fall for the sake of. You know, if you fall, well, you know, that will get people out of their own head, you know, who are, who are later down the line that we're going to pray for. And so then, you know, they can have an open mind to, you know, what's really going on. And, and it looks like power and it looks like godliness. The Bible says it's a form of godliness, but they still deny the power. You know, I, it's amazing that to me that, you know, preachers would, would do that, would have a uh, create false fire. That's what, that's what it's called. It's creating false fire. Um, it also can go, I mean, just acting too deep all the time. Uh, I mean, what's with all the running? What's with all the, you know, falling out? Are, is, is that real? Is that fake? What is it, you know? And I had, I had a bunch of questions about that. But, uh, you know, the, the fakeness of it. Because one, one thing I learned about church, man, is that, or the service, the church service. We, we, let's distinguish that first. Because the Bible says that we are the church. If you have been saved, you know that you are saved by grace and through your faith. The Bible says that you are the church. You are the bride of Christ. That is the church. It's the people. It's not the building. It's the people. And uh, so service, since we distinguish that the church is the people, service, the actual service and how they conduct service or whoever conducts service. Uh, I mean, it, it, could, it could seem kind of fishy. Uh, how things uh, go down. I mean, because it, it looks sometimes like we have more entertainment than we have actual word. I was talking with Devin earlier even too. It was like, man, we, we are in the presence of people and their gifts and, and uh, you know, everyone's a professional and everyone's got a resume, <laughs> but we have no power. There's no anointing. It's your gift. Your gift entertains me. And so when I leave, I don't leave, I, I leave feeling guilty still. I leave feeling sick still. And when the church is supposed to be a hospital and your front end gives, no, gives God no glory. It really doesn't, it really doesn't. And that, I think that's an awesome topic to, to speak on too. Um, I don't know, man, I mean, but I have, I mean, cause I was wanna kind of ask you some questions now since you said, you know, earlier, if you don't mind me asking, you, you said earlier that uh, I mean, you're coming back. You're coming back to church. Have, have you ever been in church and then came out and then has that, I mean, the, the things that make you upset, have you ever lived through them yourself? Yeah, I, uh, I went to church from, uh, I guess, when I was about, probably about 13. Me and my family started going to church and uh, yeah. just uh, a lot of things that I saw in there, you know what I mean? It, yeah. It, uh, as a little kid, you know what I mean? It, it really confused me, you know? Mm -hmm. Like uh, being in the youth group, okay. you know? When uh, when the the minister, you know what I mean? And the, you know, the, the older people, you know, weren't around, it was just the teenagers. Yeah, yeah. You know, being a kid, some of the stuff that I heard him talk about while we were in church, you know what I mean? Nobody else is around, it's just them. The stuff that I would hear him talk about, like, 
really made me question stuff about church, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Talking about, oh, we're going to get effed up this weekend, you know, and we're in church, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And they're just talking about the parties that are going to go on, about how drunk they got, you know what I mean? Wow. And then just completely change it up yeah, when, yeah. you know, when the preacher or somebody would come around. Mm -hmm. And uh, that really confused me as a kid, and I, I didn't understand that. Yeah. And uh, I guess it... It just made me think that that's how everything was, you know what I mean? Yeah, it yeah. made me think that's that's just how church went, you know oh, what wow, I mean? Wow. It's cool to go out and 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 do all this stuff because God's gonna forgive you, you know yeah, what I mean? Oh, and I think too many yeah. people focus on that, like, well, I can do this because He's just gonna forgive me, mm -hmm. you know? He He forgives you because He loves you, you know what I mean? He understands that people mess up, well, but it, that doesn't give you the right to do it, you know, expecting Him to forgive you, yeah. you know what I mean? I, that, that should make you feel real guilty, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, I just, I don't know, it, it, I think there's just too much, too much fakeness nowadays in, mm -hmm. in the church, you know what I mean? That's kind of why I quit going. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing, because, okay, that, that's a lot to talk about right there. Because God, the Bible says that God looks at the heart of a man and not, and man looks at the outward appearance. And so, I mean... I, for real, like it used to, it used to confuse me too, because I, I know that I wanted to be good and I wanted to follow God and I wanted to love God with all my heart, my mind, and my soul, my strength. I wanted to do all those things, but I, I would still find myself messing up. But my heart wanted to do it, and and, and there was this war going on, and I couldn't figure out this war what was happening. You know, uh, one one I would have integrity here, and I would have terrible integrity over here. And I would, and then at the same time, I would, I would do good things over here, but over here, I would still have my weaknesses, and I was just completely inconsistent the whole time. So I don't know. It depends on. Uh, I think, I think. Well, I'll say I think, but uh, the gospel message, I don't think, is really set in the hearts of people that go to church, uh, who call themselves Christians, who call themselves intimate with God, who call themselves followers of Christ. Uh, the gospel message anyone who's ever had a son die <laughs> you know that's 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 pretty that's pretty rough and not only just to die but for him to lay down his life it would be hard to find someone a, someone to die for a good person <laughs> who's willing to do that <laughs> to die for a good person but to die for a criminal to die for this is the gospel message is the hero dies for the villain I ain't never heard nothing like that before. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, that is a flat out amazing. And uh, I, I don't think people ponder and think about what really took place on the cross. At the same time, I understand that because